Greetings of the day. This is Ms. Tabasum. As you know that we have already completed the topic that is Nuzin Mustafa's A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria. Today I am here to discuss the summary of this chapter. So let's get started. So here it goes. In A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria, Nuzin tells her story recounting how she overcame the cataclysmic circumstances, dangerously leaky dinghies and monstrous waves to reach freedom. Nuzin Mustafa, a teenager born with cerebral palsy whose harrowing journey from war-ravaged Syria to Germany in a wheelchair is a breathtaking tale of fortitude greed and hope that lends a face to the greatest humanitarian issue of our time, the Syrian refugee crisis. When the war began there, Nuzin was forced to flee from her country, Syria. Despite her physical limitations, she embarked on the arduous trek to safety and a new life. She was among 38 people who was in a small boat. They had to cross the sea to an island. Nuzin was in a wheelchair. Nasreen, that is Nuzin's elder sister, was taking care of her and holding her wheelchair straight. The people in the dinghy were sleep deprived under the hot sun and had nothing to drink. Few of Nuzin's relatives had been shot in the war. Nahda, Nuzin's other elder sister, was taking care of her four children. Uncle Ahmed was trying to drive the boat in a worried manner as he had learned to drive the boat through YouTube videos for the last two days. The sea was not calm the day they started their voyage. So, Nuzin's cousin started retching. The boat was being tossed by the huge sea waves. Four boats had left the shore together. The first one was overturned quickly. The second one overturned close to the island. The other was picked up by the Turkish coast guard. Nuzin mentioned about a Kurd Berber Abdullah and his family whose dinghy was flipped by huge waves. Except Abdullah himself, all the other family members were drowned in the sea. Finally, Nuzin and others reached the island. Now, while in Germany, Nuzin got an opportunity to attend school. Yet, in spite of the tremendous physical hardship she endured, Nuzin's extraordinary optimism never wavered. She wrote, a girl's incredible journey from war torn Syria in a wheelchair in 2016. The story, A Girl's Incredible Journey from Syria, is a unique and powerful memoir that gives voice to the Syrian refugee crisis, helping us to understand that the world must change and offering the inspiration to make that change a reality. Now, here goes reference to the context. That's what happened to another Syrian family making the crossing the same day. Who is the speaker here? Answer, Nuzin Mustafa is the speaker here. Why were the Syrians leaving their country? Answer, the Syrians were leaving their own country because of the Syrian war continuing there and it had disturbed their lives. What happened to the Syrian family mentioned in the above lines? Answer. The boat of the Syrian family capsized due to huge waves. The headman of the family, Mr. Abdullah Kurdi, was safe while his wife and two children drowned in the sea. Now, here we have make sentences. Number one, crammed. The box was crammed with letters. 
Second, furrowed brow. A furrowed brow gives the impression of a brain thinking deep thoughts. Third, drenched. We were drenched by the rainstorms. Fourth, crouching. The beggar is crouching in a corner of the room. Fifth, scrambled. He scrambled up the cliff and rest towards the car. Sixth, flipped. She opened the burn door and flipped on the light. Seven, mist. I glanced through the thick mist trying to see. Now, here goes short questions and answers. Question number one. When and where was Nuzin born? Nuzin Mustafa was born on 1999 in Manbi, Syria. Second, who is Poseidon? Answer, according to the Greek mythology, Poseidon is the god of the sea. Third, what did Aunt Shirin lost and how? Answer, Aunt Shirin lost her bag of valuables when a huge sea wave tossed their boat. Question number 4. How did Uncle Ahmed learn to drive the boat? Answer. Uncle Ahmed had learned to drive the boat from YouTube videos. Fifth, who was Abdullah Kurdi and where was he going with his family? Answer, Abdullah Kurdi was a barber from Kobain, Syria and he was going to Germany with his family. Number six, how much did it cost the refugees to travel from Western Turkey to Mytilene? Answer, the refugees paid $1,500 to travel from Western Turkey to Mytilene. I would like to end this chapter with a quotation by Nuzin Mustafa. You should fight to get what you want in this world. It means that one must work hard and be dedicated and determined if somebody wants something to be achieved in his or her life. That's all for the day. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.